Hello, family and friends. Um, I was inspired by my roommate to make videos about my experience here in Brazil. I've been living here for about one year now, and I'm studying my master's degree in ecology and conservation. And I would like to connect with my friends and family back at home in order to tell them about some of the cool and unique experiences that I've been having here. Um, one thing that's really unique here that I really enjoy is um, all the different kinds of foods and all the different kinds of fruits. And one of them that I have recently experimented is the jatoba. And this is commonly known as the stinking toe fruit. And I have one here. This is one fruit. You can see it. It's kind of like a pod. It's pretty hard. Um, I actually, I was hoping to open it and I um, asked my friend to open it and he placed it on the table and just it opened because it's very hard and I didn't want to break any of my household tools. So he opened it and as you can see it kind of shattered into pieces here. So the first thing that you notice about the fruit is that it has this really funky odor to it and um, it's like kind of like a stinking toe, kind of smells like cheese and like uh, stinky feet at the same time. So um, I wanted to show it to you. It's um, from like the Amazon rainforest and it can treat, it helps, people believe that it helps in treating coughs, bronchitis, diarrhea, ulcers, vomiting. Um, and that it can also treat fungal infections, so it's like an antifungal and an anti-inflammatory. And then also people make tea from it in order to consume it. But you can just eat it normally, and I've, I've tried it before. It's, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I will try it again. And so it's got this really funky odor, and let's go. It has like a really weird texture. It's like stringy and powdery. It kind of tastes like not very much. So that's the jatoba. Um, very interesting fruit here in Brazil. Um, I'll see you later.